Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Unbelievable. Family members escort 24 inmates back to prison in Edo. Hello, everyone. Ah, this is quite shocking. So, inmates, like we heard the other time, we reported to you that in a Edo state, some inmates, I mean, after the whole NSAS protest was hijacked by some hoodlums, you know, escaped prison in Edo state. And the executive governor of, gov of the Edo state, Governor Baseki, made a public announcement saying every inmate who escaped from the prison should come back. We we saw that one guy who was carrying a red whatever after going for the holiday came back himself anyway however news reaching us at the moment is that families of 24 inmates have escorted them back into the prison wow this is quite shocking i must tell you let's get straight into the news and get all the details hmm. Family members escort 24 inmates back to prison in Edo. Family members and relatives of some of the 1,181 Benin hijack SKP over the weekend voluntarily escorted them back to OK and Benin Medium Correction Center in Edo State. A correction center source confirmed that 24 inmates accompanied by their lawyers we are received following the october 30th 2020 expiration date handed down the skp by governor godwin obaseki of edo state to voluntarily really return back to the center to face their consequences recall that thousands of hoodlums armed with dangerous weapon had recalled that thousands of hoodlums armed with dangerous weapon had under the disguise of NSAS protests attacked the two corrections facilities in Benin and freed the prison inmates. The sources disclosed that at at 30th October 2020, OK Correction Center had received 24 inmates who were accompanied back by their parents, lawyers and relatives. We are expecting that more will return back. Those who have returned have been received so far. Our inmates who have fled the correction center uh, when the whole prison break happened in Edo State. That have they, they have few months of their journey term to go. Why the why escape and make yourself to be a fugitive? Inmates are, some inmates are yet to return. Some of those who are out are waiting trial, they stated. Shortly after the jack break, Obaseki accompanied by the Edo State Commissioner for Police, Mr. Johnson Okomo, Deputy Inspector General of Police, Clementine okay, Okoye, and the correction of and the coalition of correction centers um, me members Edo State Command also accompanied paid an assessment visit to the correction center. It was learned that some of the inmates responded voluntarily and returned to the correction center. The response prompted the governor to further extend the ultimatum for one more week. A statement by the special advisor on media and communication strategy, Kotis Osage, has stated that the extension of the ultimatum is to make sure that this gets to everyone who have escaped in due time for them to be able to return before the day and the dates that was given expires. It is as a result of the positive response from the prisoners as good number of them have since returned to the two correction center. The new window is to allow more prisoners to return to the correction center willingly. We await their return. So my people, life and direct is happening in a door state. The call that was made by the governor of the state, Governor Gordon Obaseki, is being heeded to and guess what? Inmates on their own volition and accord are returning by their own self with their own 
own hands and legs are returning, uh, being accompanied by their family, parents, and mean lawyers. I mean, something is happening in a do state. I don't know what they have done, but however, it's working. They are coming back live and direct. You see the image coming back by themselves saying, yes, so we have here, oh, we have returned, oh, we have brought ourselves in. We all heard of what happened when some hoodlums I jacked the whole process and you know we know what happened and um, it was a it was a main act when they when some people and guess what the people who hijacked these things we are actually reports reaching us is that government officials whether opposition or ruling party have paid these hoodlums to go and distort the process okay so the whole the whole bottom line of it is that when you distort the process the government will have to come in at some point they will have to come in to impose peace because it is getting out of hand. As a result, you know, uh, you know, they they went overboard, releasing prisoners from prison cells and all that. Listen, when the whole NSAS protest started, we all know how it was. It was such a peaceful, harmonious process where everybody, you know, NSAS protesters will finish and they will clear up the place, pick up every mess from the ground, you know, make the place even more thoroughly cleaned and neat, you know, and it was such a wonderful, you know, experience where we go out and we are making our voices being heard about police brutality on our, on our citizens, on innocent life and, you know, people in our society it was such all we wanted was that the government will hear what is going on and how we really feel but guess what hmm. along came Nigerian politicians and they hijacked the whole process yes they did hijack the process begin to send hoodlums into the midst of the you know the protesters to cause trouble to disturb the whole process and some went overboard to even go to Edo State you know uh, the correction center not only Edo State or some also attempted it in other states you know to try to free inmates from prison where we now had a prison break you know situation you know and after that Governor Gordon Obaseki went ahead and you know, made an announcement saying everyone and anyone who has escaped should come back to the to the cell. Uh, my people, funny enough, uh, you know, one or two people came back and that prompted the governor to even go ahead and extend, you know, the 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 the, 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 the automaton period. Yes, they came back, they did come back to the correction center. And the automaton period now we are seeing that even more inmates, 24 of them precisely, has returned with their family members accompanying them. They said some of those that have returned have a few months to go you know because those who have who have escaped now are called what we call fugitives so they are running they will keep on running and their names and faces can be on faces of newspaper you know uh and uh, what have you in public places and all that to say if you find these people they are wanted and what have you so the ones that have uh, you know escaped who have few months to go are you know are returning on their own accord with their lawyers with their parents and you know the life of crime is not it but again what are we saying in Nigeria, really and truly, who are the criminals? The ones in Atso Rock who write out our money with biro and paper? Anyway, guys, leave us a comment. What do you think about this drama? God bless you. Bye for now.